of Film in Minnesota. I'm your host, Alan Tracy. I'm Rahana Power. And today we have Alejandro Montoya Marin with us. Hello. Howdy. Hi, Alejandro. <laughs> we go way nice back. Well, nice know. to meet you, Rihanna. Yes. Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. <laughs> yeah, you you and Alan have been friends for the last like 25 years so, or something like that, right, Alan? 32. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 32, yeah. Going on. Exactly. Yeah, 40. <laughs> but, uh, Why not 40? Yeah, well, yeah if just rounding up. If we're rounding up. It it it's technically <laughs> eight years. Yeah. yeah. Alan and exactly. I met in France. That sounds so badass. I know, right? It does. That sounds really badass. Can you please ex- go into more detail about that? Yeah, I'm curious uh, how you remember that. Meeting. I remember meeting at the American Pavilion. Mm. Mm-hmm. I yeah. mean, it was a fog because it was it was a lot of fun. But I remember uh, there were several parties at the American Pavilion. And I remember us meeting at, at the American Pavilion. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. It's either there or the short film corner. So there's two spots that were kind of happening. But yeah, American Pavilion right on the uh, French Riviera. The Palais. Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Right off the Mediterranean. So fancy. (laughs) Club Med. We we, we, we are. (laughs) I love it. Well, you and I have not met, so this is our first time meeting and, and getting to chat. So I'm really excited to chat and learn more about you. Um, you Thank know, you for having me, honestly. Absolutely. We're really excited. Um, but before we jump in, we got a lot to talk about. We have a ton of questions for you. Um, before we get into all that, you know, we're just meeting. I, I'd like to know you on a, just another level, just on the, you know, who is Alejandro? So can you tell me? Tell our listeners, um, you know, something unique, uh, cool, interesting uh, about you, whether it's something you've done, a unique talent, just anything at all. I mean, I don't know about interesting. I really like movies. <laughs> I uh, I am a third of four brothers. I'm the only artist in the family. I was the first one to be born in the States. Really? Yeah, I was the only one that was born in the States. That was weird. Uh, what else? I don't know. I mean, what's a... What's a... I don't know. I love what's like your party trick? My party trick? Uh, yeah. I have a really cool playlist. Okay. Yes, I love making playlists. I like making playlists about characters, movies... <laughs> Depending on what kind of party, if like, oh, I'm already doing like, look at this. I'm already doing a playlist for songs that I've re-listened to in 2003. So I have <laughs> the unexpected, my cousin's birthday party in case there's drinks. This character, I like that. Make playlists. So how many playlists do you have in your Spotify library that you've made? At, at least fifty. Nice. Okay. All right. Do you have um, like kind of not only like those those different events and things like that, but like maybe genres and like the '90s, the eight, like that kind of stuff? Or yeah, yeah. I try to um, I try to make like I have one that's just a, a, a mishmash of Sinatra to 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 Sol Estadio to Ooh. Foo Fighters to Liz Fair, like whatever, okay. and then. I have a couple of other ones that are like all in Spanish or um, electronica, but like I can't use. I put rules like you can't put Chemical Brothers, you can't put Fat Boy Slim, you can't because it needs to be complete or different, you yeah. know. Yep. So it, it, little things like that, like if I put an alternative rock, I you can't put Pearl Jam, you can't put okay, so stuff like that. To okay. try all right, I like it. Do you have a favorite playlist? Like if you're just like, huh, I'm not really in the mood for anything, and you just go and you're like, you know what, this is this is it, this is my list. It's really weird, but no, I don't because I feel like every day you're slightly feeling different. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. So there's there should be like a variation to that, and mm-hmm. but uh, right. yeah, I, I feel, but every time like I have if I, I have a if I have an event at mm-hmm. night and I you know had a long day of work and I need to 
kind of hype myself up to wake up to go to the meeting. I usually yeah. put uh whatever song like right now I've been it's been on repeat one that I it's called <laughs> 2023 jams, but oh. it's not songs that I that were that came out this year. It's songs that I rediscovered, and I have. It starts with "Surf" by Mac Miller. <laughs> okay. Coming soon by Queen. Oh. Love in an elevator by Aerosmith. I like Wildflower that. by Beach House, and then uh, De La Soul. I know. Death Cab for Cutie Cat. And fantasy by Mariah Carey. That's oh my gosh, That's it's very amazing. different. But yeah. you know, like DJ like AM songs. <laughs> yeah, I like it. That's pretty awesome. I'll send you guys the link. Please yeah. do. I <laughs> like. I have like four, four playlists that I've made, and then from there, I just go and I find other ones to like follow at that point. So I love it. I do that too. I yeah. follow bands and playlists oh, yeah. and stuff all the time. Exactly. Cool. So yeah, DJ A M, and that's that. That's it. That's that. Yeah, what a good. So <laughs> the end. <laughs> so you're the guy who he, you're in charge of music on road trips. You, if you go on like a trip with friends, like you're in control of the music. Like, but is that being possessive and controlling? I always give people like, hey, I have a playlist just in case. That's case. okay. I mean, not only that, but you could say, hey, I'm going to put a playlist together. If anybody has any recommendations, exactly. I can throw yours in. And that way it's not, you're not pushing everything on them. You're saying, hey, if you want to, if you want a tag team, you can. But if you just trust me, I'm sure that all your friends are like, no, you got it. You're all Let him do his about. thing. Yeah. Leave yeah. him alone. <laughs> exactly. Sometimes, yes. I Sometimes I, I do. I, ha- I always have a playlist ready. Mm-hmm. Just in case. Just in case. It's perfect. <laughs> so, I, I'm excited to get into it here because uh, I, yes, we met in t- well 2015. Since we're doing the math, yeah. um, <laughs> you had a short film in the short film corner of Can called Lo-Fi, right? Was that the one? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, which is exciting. Yeah. That was awesome. Um, so we both had our short films in the short film corner that year. Um. Which nowadays is actually saying something because it's like, I don't know. They don't accept all the same films there anymore or as many. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't tried. Yeah. That was the last time I submitted. It was it was cool, but yeah. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then how in the world did you get involved with Rebel Without a Crew? Let's go there next. Yeah. Honestly, super um, uneventful. I, it really is. Like I did the whole process. Uh, I some someone recommended me the submission. It's like, mm-hmm. hey man, you should submit to this. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, ah, hey, what for? It's <laughs> not gonna happen. Like t- because it's true. Like, you're just like whatever. Yeah. And I submitted and. Um, and then they, it was like a, a, a an eliminate, elimination process of top 20, 20, 15, 10, 7, 5. So it was, you had to submit, like, I had to submit uh, diagrams and what camera, what camera and why that camera. Wow. Why this script. How would I shoot it? What's my previous work? A bunch of I had to do I had to do a bunch of shit. I don't know if right. the other filmmakers did, but I did. Mm. Dang. And not only that, like I was they were super regimen. No, not separate regiment, but they were very strict. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That's the word. Mm-hmm. Rigido, so. <laughs> um I was saying in Spanish. But it was uh they were very like they were not bending. Cause one time I, I was in I was in Europe. When they told me, "Hey, you, you're gonna get you, you you're in, no, you're not gonna get, but you're in the top seven. You have to mm-hmm. submit your script or top ten, something like that." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Well, remember when I told you that I was gonna be in in Europe because I'm like, it was my first paying gig where I, dude, I got to shoot commercials in Europe. It was the bomb, which is awesome." Yeah, so I was like, "It's the first time in my life." Yeah. Well, if you can't meet the script deadline by this date, which which was like four days, five days later. You're like, you're disqualified. Oh. So I had to write the fucking script and submit it by then. Oh. So it was very, 
Oh my like god! Like first yeah. draft. Yeah, it was or... nuts. Oh yeah. Holy crap! And obviously, you nailed it, which is also impressive. Thank you. I stretched out a short film that I had because I was like, <laughs> yeah, the idea that I have that I wanted to do because I, of course, everyone was like, I want to show off. I'm the next whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then I was a friend of mine. Uh, my 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 one of my co-editors is like, dude, if you shoot Monday, it kind of lends itself to hecticness because you're gonna have to shoot. And I'm like, brilliant. Yeah. So I just stretched yeah. out that short film that I had just shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or not just hat shot, but like you know, three years, two years before, yeah. huh. and I just made it into a feature. Wow. That's awesome. Good for Can you. Can you talk <laughs> about the experience that you had yeah. um, with Rebel? Yeah. I mean, yeah. geez, it's it's. I. You know, like sometimes I feel like sometimes I would like people to talk about other stuff that I've done, mm-hmm. but it's it's very flattering that people are like still remind remember you because of that, and it's mm-hmm. and it's and it was a very interesting. It's it was a very hard experience because not only did you have to shoot a movie mm-hmm. with all those constraints and with your both of your hands tied behind your ha- back, but I'm the only, you know, I'm the Mexican dude. Like I was like, you cannot fuck up. Oh. You have, you have to represent, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it was so much, like, dude. My hair is white, and it started getting white because of that show. Oh, oh no! I, no, I swear to God. Oh. So there was, uh, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, I could tell. It's not easy. I could tell just based on some <laughs> of the things you did. It was just like he's, you're, you're like. At least what the cameras caught, I'll say that. <laughs> yeah, I was um, like, you're it. you're like smoking, you're talking to your, you know, uh, was it your sister? Who was that? Um, my it was my sister, and I think in the subtitles it said my mom. So a bunch of people on social media started like messaging me, like, "Do you talk to your mom that way?" Like, <laughs> I thought it was my sister. Yeah, I thought it was. It was my sister. Yeah. They may have corrected that. So. Oh yeah, no. I maybe I don't know. I think they did. I think it, it when it aired, it said "mom" and oh. I got people, but like they were <laughs> upset. <laughs> but yeah, oh, I think because I I watched it later, so it was like removed from when it premiered. So because I don't get El Rey, mm-hmm. unfortunately, mm-hmm. but uh, Apple TV picked it up, so I could buy the series. So there you go. So oh um, hell yeah! And then well now uh, we have Roku. Roku, it's on. It's for free on Roku now. Oh, is it there too? Okay, oh, great. Nice. Yeah, and Josh yeah. Stifter, who was on the podcast before, he's great guy from Minnesota. Also, um, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what? Tell us more about the seven K feature film. Um, how many days did you have total? Tell me that. Like, how long 14. were you actually there? Whoa. We had a 14 day shoot. Um, yeah. You like you arrive days, and then you cast, and then, like, is that part of the 14 days? No. They, 14 days of production. We had, I mean, let, uh, my, my numbers may be off, but we, we got there like two weeks before or a okay. week. It was, we only had a week to prep. Ooh. Okay. Like it was, yeah, it was, it was. It was, we got there. uh, Yeah. So I think we had two days to cast. Yeah. Wow. Cast locations. locations, Yeah. At least a week. Everything was a week. I think it was a week. Equipment, rentals. um... You know what? I'll go with two weeks. Okay. From arriving. A fortnight, Mm -hmm. right? Uh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like half a month because fourteen days, but then the weekend. Yeah. So I'll just say it encapsulated a month plus the show month. going on around you. That's including it. the show. A yeah. month. Oof. There's like the show, and then you making your film, yeah. and you're the show for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was the guinea pig. Yeah. Uh, was it? I'm trying to make sure that I choose my words carefully. Um. Don't choose it. How <laughs> did you did you Throw mind, them out there? Like did it did it kind of get in the way or, or bother the actual process that you normally have as you were making it? Having like you guys being filmed while you're trying to focus on making your movie or three hundred percent yes. 
There's no, there's no <laughs> variable to that question. Yes. It's every, it, it changed everything. It changed everything. We didn't have doors in our bedrooms. We had cameras on us 24 seven. I was the oh. only one shooting at night. So I, I didn't get a lot of sleep. I was very paranoid. Oh. I was smoking. Mm. I was smoking a pack of, of fucking cigarettes a day. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I was just like, all right, how do you? Because it was the schedule was changing a lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I Act, mean, everything actor fluctuated. commitments, like, things like that. Actor commitments. Like, yeah. like the, my villain was going to be a guy, and then the guy couldn't do it, so I had to flip it to a girl. And how does that work? And yeah. right. trying to convince. Not convinced, but then I was the whole other thing I was worried about is that the girl that I cast is like, hey, I really think we should keep it very fucking vulgar, which, you know, to me is funny, you know, seeing, Mm -hmm. you know, calling, uh, you know, a female assassin calling guy pricks and shooting. I I thought that was great. Absolutely. And she she was great with it. So it's kind of adapting to everything. Interesting. Definitely would never do that again. (laughs) No. I would never I do that again. Imagine. That's kind of But like, I don't regret doing it. Right. That's yeah. understandable. That has to, like, the first film that you make after that, though, you've got to be like, oh, this is easy. This is nothing. I don't have anybody in my face. <laughs> oh my or was God. not that. And, and then that let me tell right? you. And then let me tell you. <laughs> I've looked, but you know what? Like, I've, I've as I get older, I kind of like, Look, motherfucker, it ain't gonna get easier. So just accept where you're at. You know, <laughs> I mean, and that, and then people and now kids are like, "Well, that's the mentalist of being defeated." And I'm like, "No, dude, it's mm-hmm. when you get older, you're like, hey, are you paying rent? Being an artist, yeah, that's a win, baby. <laughs> that's <laughs> Absolutely. a win. Yes. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, paying the bills. Period. Um, paying bills, man. Shit. Yeah. And then what is it like? You're you're filming. You're being filmed. And Robert Rodriguez comes onto your set, you know, you know, one night. What was, do you? Th- what was that like? Was immediate. Oh, was the first of all. You know, remember how I greeted him, right? Oh, I forget. Got to remind me. I told him to get the f out of my way. Oh, <laughs> who's that guy in my shot? <laughs> yeah, he's in the shot, and I'm like, it's a brick standing there in my shot. And, we're like, and, and they were like, you should tell him. Like, get the fuck out of my shot! I screamed. <laughs> and then someone came back to me and like it's Robert. I'm like, oh there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but no, he was he he did not care. Like he was like, I, <laughs> you you you're working, and yeah. and, and and that's uh, yeah, you're working. You do you. Like it was really cool. Like he didn't. He came around. He saw what we were doing. Yeah. He asked a lot of questions. That was great. Like he was like, well, what lens are you shooting with? And I'm like this, and and then we flipped it this way. And then we're gonna flip it around. Like it was very cool. Like he wasn't hand; he was just watching. Mm-hmm. And I mm-hmm. thought that was that was really cool. Yeah. Like he just yeah. wanted to watch me fucking direct, and I was like, I was so nervous. Oh. I'm holding the camera, like oh, you know, like <laughs> dude, one of the people that I that you know that I look up to is mm-hmm. like you know since I was a kid, thirteen. And whatever, whenever my dad came out, and he's just standing like right here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh. But it was dope. It was yeah. a great experience to meet him. I I love the idea of that show based on his book, of course, and then the whole concept. I I mean, you could have accounted for a little inflation. You didn't have to make it just seven thousand. I thought, but you know, okay, I get it. You know, <laughs> but they did help us. Like our cameras were digital, so we didn't have to worry about stock. Oh, true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Um, the C three hundred Mark One. Props 1. were from. Yeah, yep. the props were from Roberts. Um, they helped us. I, I will say this: they did not. Um. They didn't create drama to create drama. Because mm-hmm. so, they knew that would yeah, happen no, they, with a time crunch, I'm sure. Exactly. Yeah. They, no, for real. They were just like, dude, making a movie is already hard. Let's just, yeah. <laughs> let's just be there. I love that. I love that. So, yeah, no. No, no it was a really great, it's a great experience. That's awesome. And then to premiere it at South by Southwest, how, how'd that go? I... 
it's I wanted to say hi and hang out with everyone, and it sucks mm-hmm. because it's a blur now. Mm. Yeah, like I remember instances. I remember, I remember when we went up. I said, "Keep it short. Don't just sound like a show off. Show, show that you're confident that you know that your movie was good." Mm-hmm. Um, I was very happy. I was very happy with everything. I, you know, like I was. I was living a dream, man. I got to, you know, screen a movie produced by Robert in South by. I, I, you know, I used to, I used to tell people that I would do that one day, and then, and then you're there, and you're just like trying to function, and I get stressed out because you're getting interviewed, and your people are asking questions, you're mm-hmm. drinking, and you're just like, I'll calm myself down. <laughs> and then your brain was great, and you're like, I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, dude, it's fun, and seeing people like I, I loved seeing the actors and the audience respond to the movie. Yeah. Because yeah. for the longest time, like I was like, I hope this movie is good. And it's not just me yep. and my delirious ego thinking it's good because it was so hard to do it. Right. Yeah. Gosh, I, I'm sure That's we fun. could go on for hours about that. I know like, uh, and then you went home to edit, like they sent you guys all home to go edit. Is that right? Or yeah, for like three months or something like that, or two months, or something like that. I don't. Oh, remember. that's good. That that's... that I don't remember, but yeah, they gave us a little time, and uh, we good. were able to edit and then um, polish it up. Mm-hmm. No, that's really nice. No, yeah, okay, gotcha. So you, what you had is what you had, gotcha. <laughs> Hope you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you got it. Yeah, make it work. <laughs> yeah. And then Monday premiere, it says here 2018. Is that right? Yeah. South by 2018. Of 2018. Dang. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I love that. Okay. Moving to your most recent feature film, Millennium Bugs. I love that Jamie is in that. Also oh, the lead for Monday. Movie. And I did notice it Dude, starts on a is... Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> But that that only happened because we those are the actual days. Those are the of, actual days. Uh, okay. Of the millennium. <laughs> yeah, they they are. We went back and then those are the actual days of the millennium, but it happened that and then you do see in the files they have a Monday file. There's so many little cameos. Mm. Like Sophia, who's the hit woman in Monday, she's in the movie. She's in all my movies. Ooh. Jamie's all in all my movies. Like I always try to put them in in the little universe. So like uh Kenny who plays Paul in Monday oh, is right. in Millennium Books and okay. Unexpected. It's like you always see them around. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I recognize yeah, a few and then I was like, Oh, that is her. Okay, good. Jamie's the pirate though. You yeah, can't really you miss can't him. miss him, no. <laughs> <laughs> and of a band of pirates. How are, yeah, that play alternative rock. Yeah, alternative rock. <laughs> it's a it's a critique of bands that used to have a gimmick, a gimmick yeah. in the '90s. Remember, you know, like yeah, all those gimmicks everywhere. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, they were transitioning from pirates because they're the zombie babies. <laughs> and it's a T-shirt. It's a it's a it's a fake band that we create that we've thrown around in all my mm-hmm. movies. So you you'll always see somebody, and then you'll see the zombie babies. I love it. And, Lou Ferrigno is wearing the hoodie of the Zom Babies in her short film. And <laughs> That's amazing. It's so stupid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's great. Like, Wait, thank you. Eggs. It's yeah. a lot of fun. It's a lot. There's so many Easter eggs. Yeah. But first of all, people need to discover the movies. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> as soon as they do, they're going to be like, "Wait a second. And then they're going to be like, "Well, I wonder if." And then they're going to watch the next one. And then they're going to be just engulfed in it. That's yeah. how you get them right there. Oh, that'd be dope. That's like it's, interest. That'd be great. What you said, Lou Ferrigno? What what was he in here? Uh, in a short film called Perps. Okay, I haven't seen that one yet. It's so on my how YouTube. How did you channel. make that happen? Yeah. Oh, it was, and it was right before the pandemic, or did we premiere? So it was something like that. It, he was in town for a comic con. And we just we adapted a script to have the cameo. Oh. And yeah, so we were like, it was really weird because it's basically about a cop who catches two stoners and forces them to do a hit for them or they get arrested. 
So a bunch of people are like, oh, are you trying to say something about the political state in American cops? And I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm just like, you know, uh, it's a broken hearted <laughs> cop who uses power to use two stoners and I get a, uh, to go to jail. And he's like, you just got to beat up someone. But then that person you have to beat up is Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> <laughs> the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> because he's dating his ex-girlfriend. The cop's ex-girlfriend is like, yeah, you got to beat him up, though. <laughs> and you won't go to jail. That's awesome. And you pitched it to Lou and he's like, in. I swear to God, it was really, it was really cool because uh, he, he, it, it, dude, he, it was snowing. He had flown in from, from New York, I think. And we, I was like, oh, he's going to be in a bad mood. He's going to be in Aww. a bad mood because he's got a, he's got his room. He had one room, like we rented a big house and he had a room to himself and shit. I was like, get it, dude. He's flying from New York to Albuquerque. That's a, that's a yeah. five hour, four hour flight. Mm-hmm. And and you know and 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 then oh, and he had just received the keys to the city in Rio Rancho, which is a a mm. suburb of Albuquerque. So I know my man's tired. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he comes in, and I was super nervous for that. Mm-hmm. And then what really what I loved about it was that he stayed longer, and he was just like, hey man, can I can I start saying this thing and this i'm like Psh, just go with it dude <laughs> so that, that, that was a lot of little lines that he's like you're gonna fucking die and, and we, we take so many lines where he's like lou we can't woman be quiet and then he gets punched but we didn't it, it didn't work out like the folk it, it didn't work out but he started doing a lot of uh uh of improv that uh it felt great that he felt comfortable there yeah that's awesome so you guys yeah, great experience talk and text more than people know now then so. You know, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> He's a very busy man. I mean, he shared yeah. several things, and you know, like, oh, Merry Christmas, dude. But I, I, he's he's a busy man. He's a busy mm. man. Oh, for sure. Yeah, very busy. He goes to all these fests, and then with Marvel, and dude, he's a celebrity yeah. man. Like everyone knows who he is. Oh yeah, right. fucker has three million followers on Facebook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Every time I tell people Lou Ferrigno, they go, damn, Lou Ferrigno. <laughs> exactly. Well, you brought up the, like, the, oh, the yeah. hoodie thing that I was interested in. Then you said Lou Ferrigno, or, you know, the band. So, the zombie baby, yeah. huh? So, okay. Let me send you a, look, let me send you a picture. <laughs> <laughs> say, I literally shared it the other day. Okay. Because, I mean, I just think that that's cool, right? He's like. I oh, for know. sure. He, he, you know, it's Lou Ferrigno wearing a fake band name because one day my friend and I got stoned and said, like, wouldn't that be a funny <laughs> name? <laughs> there it is. I sent it to your Facebook messenger. Okay. Did, so, uh, did he let him keep it? Yeah. That's... Yeah, he did. He kept it. I love it. That was awesome. And I don't then... know if he wears it or he used it to clean up his dog's poop. I don't know. <laughs> but hey, the, the, the gesture was there. Yeah. <laughs> So talk about Millennium Bugs now. Like what? Why oh, millennium, millennium Bugs? bugs. What? 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 I, I I sense a bit of you in the script here, but tell you, I want to hear your your thoughts. I think here. Millennium Bugs came came from like I want to do what I couldn't do in during the Monday production. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, I felt like I was so constrained that we couldn't we couldn't think off the cuff to make it bigger, and 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 and, and it's fine. But I, I jumped into that production immediately, and we lost the funding, so I had to crowdfund it. Mm. Oh, okay. And that was a goddamn nightmare, guys. That yeah. was so hard. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So not only, and then we had to crowdfund it, mm-hmm. but I don't remember the the reasons why we had to shoot those days. Oh, in February or March, or the low peaks of New Mexico yep. film. So a lot of friends of ours uh, and people that we know like to work on, you know, people that work on big shows like Better Call Saul or Breaking Bad, because as always, sometimes they you just want to do some indie stuff, man. It's always, yeah. I love it. And we grew up together and, you know, whatever. So we tried to do it in February and then the money wasn't coming in and they like, we raised the funds and then the money wasn't being transferred and we had people working for for free for like 15 days and we're like i swear to god we raised the oh. money it was it was uh uh but oh, yeah we yeah. got it done and you had it was issues. it was crazy it was crazy 
You had issues with your bank account with Monday too, right? And that they hacked my Facebook during Monday. Oh, what? On day one of production. Yeah, they hacked my Facebook, and I when they were like, "Well, did you ever have pictures there that you sent?" I'm like, "Of course I did." Right. So that was a whole nightmare. I had to call while doing production, cancel cards, and make sure. Yeah, it was. Ugh. Oh my god, the worst. Yeah. Like you Holy don't already shit. have enough going on. Right. <laughs> wow. Filmmaking oh, a yeah, battle of attrition. But, yeah. Um, it is, dude. But but you know, but Millennia Bucks, uh yeah, we, we got it done 14 days as well. So, and, oh oh wow. wow. 17. 17. Great. Because it was 14 in New Mexico, three in Austin for all the video store stuff. Oh, okay. Mm. I was wondering about the video store, yeah. And Katie, what a fine. Tell me about working with Katie Aaron. I loved working with her, dude. She's great. Um, I met her through uh, her manager at CAA, and we met in L.A., and we got along immediately. And I was like, I'm going to write something for her. And I just – it started off with – I wanted to I wanted to do like a nineties movie because I was it was like everyone does eighties all the time. And mm-hmm. I was like, I want to do a nineties movie. Yeah. No one does and then I was like, no one has ever done a Y2K movie. Mm-hmm. So I just okay, so how do we do that? So I uh I was like, okay, well let's bring in uh, let, let's try to do like a chasing uh, a high speed chasing Amy. So ch- if chasing Amy and Shaun of the Dead could like <laughs> unite or something, but with Seventy thousand dollars, which is stupid. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So but then, uh, yeah, I have. Uh, yeah, that, that that was the budget. That was the budget. Oh wow, seventy k. Okay. And you, so you kind of had to juggle between like New Mexico and Texas too for filming. Yeah. Interesting. And then, well, the uh, video store that we shot at is a is a it, it was a it was a it was a landmark it was in jimmy fallon or Conan, and it's called it, it was called vulcan video and it just it dresses itself dude everything is mm-hmm. legit they had vhs betas dvds blu-rays everything's decked out so we were it, it'd be dumb not to and not only that but like it's an homage in, within an homage mm-hmm. of shooting monday because uh even one of the characters from stifter's movies in millennium bugs he's that priest that's avery from the good exorcist who was so he? it's like little easter eggs of he- he's mm-hmm. the the son of the of the ranch no i know from that but in your movie where where, where was he he's the priest that's driving around saying the apocalypse is going to be in 1999 oh <laughs> Dang, I'll have to watch it again. <laughs> so, so there's always little, little, yeah, like Danny Trevino is the guard in Monday, and he's the he's the pervert that rents porn movies in VHS. <laughs> That's right. I, I remember oh sunglasses. I do remember sunglasses. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and that was his cameo. That was, he's like, hey, I'm like, hey, so we can write this in. What do you think? He's like, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> great guy, great guy. Wow. Guy. So, uh, like, yeah, just putting that together, assembling your 17 days, three days at the video store, that's a little, pretty short for the amount of scenes that are shot there. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, awesome. tell us awesome. just a little bit more, if if you may, about your scheduling and then, like, how did, how like, crowdsourcing, so it was all crowdsource raised, is that right, or? Yeah, we did, we did an Indiegogo, mm-hmm. edited. We were going to premiere in Austin, and then the pandemic happened. Mm. Mm. So um, we thought about digital. We, we thought about um, premiering online, and then we decided to premiere with dances with films. We did. Oh, good. We did a whole year of, of festivals, and we got some awards, and we got some really good exposure. And then we we uh, we went with Indican Productions and mm-hmm. Indican Pictures, and they're, they're our distributor and. It premiered. It took forever. The pandemic did a number on, mm-hmm. on as everyone knows, on everything, mm-hmm. <laughs> on, on everything, everything, everything. Yeah. Mm. So we just dropped the movie in February after legalities, and then it was a whole year of negotiating with bands because um, the soundtrack of Millennium Bugs is very 
we have all authentic music from 1990s. Like, there's nothing recreated to make it sound like it's no. We yeah. have we oh, have music man. from the Empire Records soundtrack, from oh, Mallrats, man. from you know Magnetic Fields. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Supercell. We had people from the Toadies compose. Like, we have. <laughs> a 90 soundtrack. And I thought that the only way that we're going to pull off the 70 K and make it look, is also the illusion of audio to, um, to throw the blanket of the nineties on the image, you know, because mm -hmm. obviously it's, it's a, it's a dark movie as we should have shot it less dark, but I mean, it hit a lot of mistakes, man. We had very little money and music alone. The soundtrack alone was like 20 K. Wow. And people were like, why are you spending so much money on this? And I'm like, it's the soul yeah. of the movie. I mean, and yeah, like that's that's one thing I'm very proud of the soundtrack. I mean, I'm proud yeah. of the whole movie. <laughs> yeah. But I'm is it on Spotify? Happy with the music. Yeah, it is. It's on Spotify. Oh, and there it is. And yeah, please, I mean, please used to have uh, had a soundtrack, a song, a track seven Empire Records. They used to open for Radiohead. Dude. Yeah, we were, were like, and we can have your music. Like, yeah, great. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Boom, awesome. found it. All right, everybody, go search. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, go get it. <laughs> I love it. And now, soundtrack. both your feature films are available widely. So, um, yeah, man, they're on video on demand and iTunes and Amazon. Yeah, yeah. So wherever you buy those. Go support the film. Check them out. Very good. Very yeah. Please do. Monday is more action oriented, I'd say, and uh, Millennium Bugs is uh, it's it's like a uh, callback, really. So it's kind of like a callback to that time. Dramedy. Yeah, as it's kind of drama, but it's kind of also like a bit of a coming of age, and yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, uh, I I wanted to do a movie about friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Like that was the, like, I remember a, in several meetings, they told me like, well, why didn't they end up together? And then some of the really eight in the beginning of the script, they wanted me to have them like hook up. And I was like, no. And, and then, um, well, Katie Aaron's, uh, bye. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Hey, would you would you feel cool if we make uh, Kelly, you know, gay or bi, or something that you identify with more?" And she was like, "Yeah, that'd be great." I'm like, "Cool," because right. that's not what the movie's about. Like Miguel right. and her were never gonna have sex anyway. Mm -hmm. And that was the thing that was like, whatever he lacks, she needs, and she needs he lacks, and vice yeah. versa. Mm -hmm. No matter how you know, once modest and or you know, what mm -hmm. from point A to B, Z, and friendship. Yeah, and yeah. I feel like the conversation is all, uh, I don't want to give anything away, but it's like basically he wants to become a comedian, right? So. And he's not that good. I like that. <laughs> I like that aspect. He's not that yeah. good and, and he knows it. And, and you know, because there's, you know, like, I don't know. He's, he, he's trying to get break the mold, which is inspired of me, like wanting to do film with my family and like how mm -hmm. much they were mm -hmm. like, you are fucking up your life. Don't <laughs> do this. And, and, and like, I swear to God, when, when I left home at 17, my dad said, when they, they, they told me, Hey, they don't like our kind there, man. Oh. Like, they're like, you sure. And I'm like, yeah, dad. I was young. Right. I was like, I'm going to show up with my fucking talent, break <laughs> barriers and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that's how it went. Yeah, and it was like obviously it's more. Uh, I I didn't you know my dad didn't stop talking to me obviously, mm -hmm. but he was very hard on. Like he thought it was a game. Or like, oh, when is he gonna like mm -hmm. give up on it and shit? Yeah. And then just right. It was during the premiere of Monday that I was like, he he was like, okay, yeah, seeing Robert opening up the right. movie was pretty, that helps. Yeah, that's pretty. He's like, oh, okay. yeah, exactly. I, I got it. I was like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that was cool. That's good. I love that. And then now let's turn to what's coming up here in June. Things are heating up, <laughs> flaming hot. You could say. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <man. laughs> oh, hey, that's right, flaming hot. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about working yeah. with. 
a director like Ava Longoria, what uh, what was your experience yeah, like there? Dude, I swear, guys, uh, I have like mad respect and buddy crush on her because she's <laughs> just so fucking good at what she does. Mm-hmm. It's 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 aspiring and attractive to see someone who's good at what they do, and she's so good and she means well and she learns and no, nah, dude, it's. I, I have a post from 2021 or whatever when, when the movie, when I rapped mm-hmm. and I said, this is going to be one of the biggest Latino, if not the biggest Latino film of the year, one of the biggest of the decade. I, I still firmly uh-huh. believe that. Uh, did you get to see it? Yeah, you saw it, right? I did. No. I did not. The Minneapolis St. Paul International Film Festival. It did mm-hmm. have a screening. It was quite full. Um, I was not expecting to see you. I did not <laughs> realize what role you were going to play or anything. And then it's like, is that Alejandro? Because I couldn't recognize you without your glasses. It's like a Superman <laughs> thing. It was just kind of... <laughs> yes, Wait, he just took he off go? his glasses. Yeah. <laughs> I think... No, I swear, dude, and I was... It was ridiculous because they had me take them off, and I'm like, I can't see shit. I know. <laughs> yeah. Don't you hate that? And then that? I don't want to – and I didn't want to look – like, I, I'm not going to complain, dude. I'm working with Dennis Heis- Heisberg and yeah. Matt Walsh and Eva, yeah. and I'm just like, just yeah. stand where they tell you to. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, like, you play yeah. kind of a smart role. The glasses kind of fit the role, so, I mm-hmm. mean, you know <laughs> – yeah. Uh, hey man, it was it, Whatever. Was, it was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> but exactly. that's why I I'm, couldn't recognize you until they said your name. I'm like, now this is too on the nose. They said my name. Yeah, well, yeah, they said Alejandro, and I'm like, oh, that's right in the movie. Yeah, in the yeah, movie, I'm, my name is the same character's name. That's pretty cool. Which yes. is awesome. Yeah, that was pretty dope. Was that planned, or did they just change it for you? I think they changed it for me. Okay. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So they didn't. Well, I, I I wasn't supposed to have like but a, a line, and then she like I have like fifteen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I say little things when we're talking. I'm asking them for something. Like there's I'm sprinkled mm-hmm. uh, because she just let me improvise. It was it was great. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So, oh dude, it was so much fun. Yeah. Like remember when I'm telling the guy that I'm just like. Oh, why, hey, I, I'm like grabbing a shitload of salsa and a taco. Yeah. And they're like, hey, hey. And I'm just like, well, if I, you know, if I don't pour this much, it doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just started doing it. And she was just yeah. like, go with it. Mm-hmm. That was <laughs> That's pretty cool. so awesome. Yeah. That's a callback um, to Ava Longoria. I heard her speak about that on Justin Long's podcast and just talking about like uh, her experience in Hollywood and. Like people just being so upset with her for improvising and looking down on her, and just like kind of like mm. what that was very interesting to hear and to hear you talk about how she directs and how she's okay with things. It's just like what a magnificent person. I mean, she's pretty great, dude. Yeah. It's <laughs> I, it's because people will always say like, um, you worked with them, so you're gonna have to say good things. And dude, she's she's at a she's at a different level, mm-hmm. and in a sense of like when pe- I don't think people understand how busy she is. She has she's a spokesperson for L'Oreal. Yep. She has a fucking uh, a, a platform, a podcast, a CNN show. She's acting in a movie. She's directing that one. Like you guys have no idea. A how philanthropist. Busy she is. Yeah. She's a philanthropist, dude. I mean she's very busy and she Has still kids, manages family. to say dude and not only that his her kid is not a brat she, he is such a nice kid oh santi's the bomb he's such a nice kid you know <laughs> nice. what i'm saying like i, I know that. his name and i'm like hey, man, yeah. <laughs> he's always running around like hey and um he uh she's 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 a good person and, and i saw what she was doing with um flaming hot she was like cor- being a choreographer of all mm-hmm. things latino so the bald guy that's in the the guys from the hood he's a skateboarder dude he's a skateboarder one of the in the mm-hmm. 80s and 90s he was a huge skateboarder in the latino community he has she has painters directors actors comedians writers and they're all mishmash in in the in, in the uh 
around in the cast and the people from Gentified, not Gentified, but uh, Vida, and I think it's Vida Gentified, damn it, the writer. But <laughs> she platformed a whole Latino like infrastructure, and it's very admirable that the intent, I'm telling you, the intentions are, I want to do an inspiring movie, and there's you have to have the heart of a uh, of uh, 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 one of those White Walkers from Game of Thrones to <laughs> not like I always let yeah. down the little tear, dude. When when they put the little plaque, I'm just yeah. like, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very inspiring. Yeah, June 9th in theaters, I presume. Um, yeah, check it out. Definitely check it out. Look for Alejandro. I just had two espressos. That's why I'm so I'm yeah, so <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I mean, hot. I've, I've seen a, the trailer. I feel multiple times now. Like you turn on the TV, it's there. So oh, it's gonna be big, man. Yeah. I mean, it's the first I'm movie excited. that screens on uh, Disney and Hulu, two platforms. Ooh, I love that. I I suppose I was gonna say I didn't know Disney shared, but th- they have the package, so that makes sense. <laughs> but, it's yeah, gonna be interesting, man. It's exciting. Yeah, check it out. It's a family film. I think you're yes. gonna be family pleasantly friendly. surprised. Yeah, mm-hmm. very family. It's like seeing like. In the vein of like Rudy, you well, know, it's a, it's, yeah. a it's also film. highly Frito Lay and Pepsi. You know, f- they they want it to be accessible. So yeah, um, yeah, I thought it was very accessible and it was great. Yeah, mm-hmm. very funny. Yes, she was. I want to make it funny. Like that it, was it was fun. It was supposed and funny. to be more serious, yeah. and she and they like made it funnier. Right. So I think that yeah. that lets. It's very it's it's people don't need to walk on eggshells because it's Latino. It's like it's it's poking fun of ourselves and it's poking fun at the world that we receive. But also we're letting you know how, you know, it's pretty hard from this side, but also that side is perfect. So it's very everyone can relate because the issues are always the same. We're all going to want to provide for our family. and We're going to work our asses off no matter what. So it's identifiable. Right. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm excited to see it. I know that. Um, I'm jealous that I wasn't able to snag a ticket before they sold out at the film. Soon. 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 Exactly. It's going to be amazing. Um, so Alejandro, can you tell us what's, what's next for you? You've got all of this happening, this big movie coming up. So what, what are you doing now? What's coming up? I I'm editing. We're screening a short film and dances with films. <clears throat> Hopefully Ooh. soon. Um, it's called chicken. And then I have, I'm editing my, my third feature film right now. I, I think it should be done by August. Wow. I'm trying to start submitting to, to yeah, film festivals. Yeah. Wow. So I, yeah, I did. I, I was able to shoot my feature film in February and it was, it was a roller coaster, baby, <laughs> but it was, but it was great. It's definitely the most, the easiest shoot we've had. What's it called? The unexpected. The unexpected. Okay, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that on like all over your IMDb. All right, all right. Yes. Exciting. Yeah, that. yeah, so hopefully, hopefully premiering it very soon. Awesome. awesome. Um. So, can you tell our listeners where they can, you know, go watch your your movies? Maybe they are interested in. I mean, we already know you've got playlists on Spotify. People can follow. <laughs> um. And if, you know, maybe they are wanting to work with you or, you know, just chat and connect and everything, hey, how can they get a hold of you or watch your stuff? I'm on, I'm in the access, the, the mainframe, like they used to say in the nineties, the mainframe, <laughs> the internet, the interwebs, the interwebs, <laughs> uh, Instagram, Alejandro Montoya Marin, one word. Um, and on, on YouTube, I have, uh, my short films and, and music videos and stuff that I have. I, I'm not as active as I should be, but I've been writing a lot and I've been mm-hmm. actually lucky to be writing on several scripts and That's I've so wanted good. to direct, but I've been actually making money writing. So until mm-hmm. maybe, well, until the strike happens. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, it's, it's oh, hard. Dear. You have things going on. You're working with Eva Longoria. I mean. Oh, dude, it's so cool, man. And I get to, <laughs> and, and, and Matt Walsh, Matt, Matt, Walsh Walsh. Is in, Matt Walsh is in my movie. He's the lead. And Alejandro de Hoyos, Chelsea Rendon. Dude, no, wait, wait. I'm very excited about this movie. I think Ooh. 
Yeah, I think this is the movie that I've been wanting to do. Like a mm. proper. It's a, you know what I'm saying. Like there's. Yeah. I I I'm I shouldn't say proper because it kind of feels like oh the other movies no but you know like I didn't have to I didn't have to shoot a movie with two hands and seven <laughs> K and like okay action <laughs> <laughs> like I can sit down and all right let's work on the blocking and this yeah yep. that's awesome that you got Matt Walsh you roped him into this <laughs> oh he's yeah I love he's that. awesome he's a great guy dude awesome he's so funny honestly I know him as the guy from Veep. Although oh, yeah. I will say he's in like everything. I was just watching The Hangover. He's in The Hangover. Like he's in everything. He's in Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah. He just did old White school. People. Like he's yeah. old, old school. school. Like, he's yeah. in everything. He's in yeah. literally everything. Role he's models. Always... He's in everything. <laughs> yes. He's hilarious. I think um, he was yeah. in Community. I can't remember. Uh, it probably. I'm excited. I wouldn't uh, be surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Even even just knowing the name of the movie and that he's the lead, I'm already excited. Um, oh man, I, I can't wait for you awesome. guys to see this one. So yeah, awesome. let us know when. <laughs> yes, please when do. When it's ready, yeah. When mm-hmm. we can, we'll have you back. Oh, on. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Oh, yeah, man, and maybe we can bring the cast. And uh, yeah. this was fun. This was a lot of fun. Thank you so much. I apologize for being late. Oh. If you didn't, you didn't hear this because this is behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> but your boy Alejandro was 30 minutes late because I'm in California and I thought the time zone was up. Right. Yeah, nothing gets that's cut right. from this. So but I want to say so the listeners hear this, that they were very nice and polite and were super cool. So thank you. We're, we're paying him to say that. Um, <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> All with, right. with that fake money, you know. Right. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. All right, Alejandro, we got one more question for you. Yes. And this is the big one. Ooh. So. Yeah. What do you want people to remember most about you? Whether it's from working with you or watching your films, anything. Uh, that's a tough question. <laughs> I think just my movies. I mean, I'm not going to be able to be friends with everyone. So, I mean, hopefully my loved ones remember me for, you know, for who I am. But for the rest is like, I, I mean, there's so much of me in the project. So I, I just hope people like I, that I leave one that people remember. Mm-hmm. And if it doesn't, you know what? As time goes by, you, you like, Hey, I'm very, ha-. like we said, are you happy? I'm 80%. <laughs> like, that's pretty good, man. You that's admit, better like, than a lot of people. <laughs> exactly. What am I going to lie? Like, yeah, everything's yeah. great. <laughs> like, no, that's bullshit. <laughs> exactly. Dude. Happy. Life yeah. Gets, yeah, exactly. Life gets in yeah. the way. And, oh, for sure. And, and I love so many people and seeing them hurt because life happens to them as mm-hmm. well. And, yeah. Um, but I think, uh, I, that, you know, that, that I wasn't a hack in film, that they liked the movie. Just enjoy the movie. Absolutely. Yeah. I love one it. of the movies we make. Right. Exactly. One, a bunch, all, you know, take your pick. <laughs> yeah, just to enjoy that. Someone said, you know what, that was fun. Or that was exactly. good, you know. Exactly. I love that. Well, thank you again so much for taking the time, hanging out with us, thank you letting guys. us bombard you with questions. It was really great getting to meet you. And Ditto. Likewise, it was great seeing you guys and to yeah. meet you. Like, that was, that's been a while. Uh, this was fun. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll have to have you on again. And for all wait. of our listeners, thanks for joining. This has been Filming Minnesota. Mm-hmm.